Hey there, welcome to a new video. In this video we will talk about audio clips. So here we have this clip and at first we can see that at the extremes we have these handles which are clip fades and basically they help fading out to silence our samples and we can shape the slope, the curve of uh, this uh, fade by click and dragging this uh, square button in the middle. Then here we have the space for the name so we if we click command or control R here we have sample okay then if we do right click we have several options so we have cut copy paste duplicate delete then we have zoom to arrangement uh, time selection then we have zoom back from arrangement time selection then we have rename edit info text so we can this is a nice kick okay then we have extract groove which is not the case because this is just a single sample deactivate clip with zero then we have consolidate consolidate time to new scene then we have showing browser here it is showing finder here it is then we have then we have create fade which is not the case because we already have them then reset fade and then we have loop selection so if we click on it we just have a loop as long as the sample then we have a freeze track and freeze and flatten if we have it frozen then we have crop clips and reverse clips so reverse clips is possible by also by clicking R okay and then we have convert harmony to new MIDI track that's for chord uh, chord loops then we have convert melody to new MIDI track that's for melodic loops convert drums to new MIDI track and that's for drum loops then here we have all the colors and now let's go to this section so here we have the name the color the signature we can't apply a groove because this is an audio sample and then here we have more controls to fine-tune our sample so here we have the name and some infos such as the sampling rate the bit rate then we have edit and this would launch uh, a sample editor an external sample editor if you have one then we have save a default clip so if you have some uh, important adjustments to this sample and you want to use it over and over like maybe transposing it uh, or whatever uh, you can save it with all these tweaks uh, applied then we have the reverse again then we have high quality rate conversion so in high quality mode live we use a more sophisticated interpolation algorithm to read out the sample so all the pitch shifting will create less distortion but it will also uh, require more CPU then we have uh, clip RAM mode and uh, if the RAM switch is on live loads uh, the audio referenced by the clip uh, into memory rather than reading it from a disk in real time so this uh, allows uh, saving your uh, sample in the RAM uh, in the RAM memory so it can perform better and uh, use all the CPU for other tasks such as uh, uh, making uh, scenes work uh, and effects uh, processing and all the stuff then we have uh, the transpose 
and the transpose literally uh, stretches the sample if we don't have the warp enabled. Then we have the gain. If we double click, it comes back to zero. Here we have the detune, which is simply a softer transpose. Then if we click on the warp, we have the segment BPM. So this is Ableton that tries to guess the BPM of the sample. In this case, this is a single sample, so it just doesn't detect the actual BPM, but the the BPM we are set by default, which is 120. Then we can make uh, the sample short, so halving it or duplicate it. And then we have a different uh, stretching algorithms. So we have bits, so let's listen to the sample. And if we use uh, bits for example we have uh, different preserve so we have transients by default and if we do like this we can shape our drum hit then we have uh, tones which has grains then we have a texture which has grain size and flux. Then we have uh, repeat, which is basically the same as not having uh, the warp enabled. If we stretch it like this, we also have uh, an increase in pitch. So it's like playing a sample on a tape. Then we have complex and complex pro, which are the cleanest algorithms but they aren't always uh, the best option especially for drums we prefer beats then we have other sections such as start and here we can select when the beat start so we are making the clip longer we go to one we are just moving the starting position and if we make a one one and one here we have it like it was before and here we have the hand so we can shorten the clip and then we also have loop so if we don't have loop enabled and we stretch the clip like this it just stretches until its original length if we hit loop we have a looping clip. Then let's go to this other section which is the show hide envelopes box. So here we have uh, different types of uh, envelopes and let's go to clip and then we can like select uh, click on the volume and here we have the envelope of the volume. So this is the original sample. If I shape this like this, we have the actual envelope shaping the drum hit. And we can do the same with the transpose, with the grain size, with flux, and with the sample offset. And get the most out of the sample without even using external effects. And we can also replicate the, those settings by simply duplicating or copying and pasting the same clip over and over. So if I just do this volume automation and copy it here, here, all these samples have this automation. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.